Hey everybody. So I originally made this video and then I accidentally deleted the whole first half of it. And so I'm going to walk you through it and talk to you about what we did. And it's, it's fairly self-explanatory once you see what everything does and, and everything else. But today we have a Chevy Cruze with a 1.4 liter Ecotec and it's pushing oil. Uh, out some of the seals came to me had the uh, they thought that the crank seal was bad and everything else but when you start looking through everything you realize that the PCV system in this vehicle causes tons of problems they have problems everywhere with them there's three different parts of it I'm gonna tell you about the three different parts and kind of uh, what they do and kind of what some of your symptoms are and you can figure out which one is yours so first thing you do is you pop this cover off right here this is one of your PCV valves this if you're getting a code that I believe it's P like 0107 or 0170 um, but it'll be a uh, air fuel mixture lean code that is generally your first problem right here you can see there's almost a little opening right here this is a diaphragm and you'll hear it almost whistling and if that happens if you put your thumb over it and it changes the idle and you feel the air sucking you know that's one of your problems and you can't just replace this you have to replace the whole valve cover um, your second area is your intake manifold so this corrugated hose right here if you look at it this one right here when you pop this off you should be able to shine a light down there when you shine a light down there you see an orangish almost like a rubble rubber little nipple and if that's not there which this one wasn't if that's not there then what happens is when your turbo builds boost it pressurizes the crankcase and pushes oil out the seals and that's what was happening here now this corrugated hose also runs over to your turbo inlet so what when you pop that off what you can do is you can blow into it you should be able to blow into it when you suck it you should be able to feel a valve and it should create a restriction once it creates that restriction you know that that one's good now you can replace all these they actually have a bypass for this one because i mean you know they're it happens so often um, it's actually cheaper to order this intake manifold off of Amazon or another online source than it is to get the dealer or even my cost at, at the uh, auto parts store so to give you a quick and kind of dirty rundown since we deleted the first part of the video and I'm not gonna tear this whole thing back apart it's fairly easy you need to undo your intercooler tubing take all your connectors off I mean they're right on top you should be able to see all of them then you take these Torx bits off and once you take these Torx bits off you can just pull up on the fuel rail slightly and the fuel rail will come up and you can just lay it to the side because it has this flexible hosing and then as you can see these are E10 Torx bolts and once you take those off you can uh the whole intake manifold will come right off and you just uh you need to swap the map sensor over and your throttle body and once you do that then you put it back on the same way it's really fairly simple um there's a million videos and forums about it because it happens all the time i don't you know we don't want to get too much in the science of things of why it happens because that doesn't really matter you just need to know what's wrong so that you can fix it if you want or at least you have an idea of what your mechanics gonna tell you or if they try to tell you something crazy because sadly that happens a lot and we get it all the time in here but uh, that that's the down and dirty way it went a little bit you know more in depth before I deleted that part but honestly as soon as you go and open your hood 
and start looking, you should be able to see it. And I mean, there's there's nothing tricky or anything to it. I mean, it's fairly simple. So, if you're getting a lean code, replace this one. Sometimes they'll take both of them out. Shine your light in there, which I do have a piece of that video coming up where you'll be able to see the difference. If you don't see an orange nipple, you have to replace your intake manifold. If you can blow and suck without a restriction in this corrugated tube, you gotta replace that. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's what it goes down to. Now we're gonna go to the part of the video where we went to go swap. So one of the things, just real quick, is your fuel injectors. You can pull them right out, they got little O-rings, they'll pop right out once you take them to Torx bits off. Take these connectors off. All you gotta do is push this in and pull up on it. You see a little metal bar. Push that in, pull up. You can lay the injector rail right to the side. Now, some of these bolts, they do take a special socket it's a torque socket and sometimes you can, if you have a decent uh, universal socket or like a 12 point it'll work but this six point torques is what you're supposed to do you're supposed to use and it is a e10 torques As you can see, got our intake manifold off. So, we're gonna see if we can see what we're talking about. So, if you take, shine your light in here, hopefully you guys can see that all those little holes there's like a bigger hole with a bunch of ho small holes around it that's supposed to have an orange rubber valve in there which we do not have it's gone so when that happens it over pressurizes your crankcase and your pcv system will not work right and that was part of our problem so now we have to go to the new intake okay so now we swapped over our throttle body which is just four bolts we take off the old intake put on the new one new intake has all new uh, gaskets o-rings all that new bolts everything else so now we just put it on back on the car exactly how we took it off uh, tighten the intake bolts down in a crisscross pattern working from the middle outwards and they're going to be torqued to 15 foot pounds.
intake manifold is torqued down to 15 foot pounds, uh, 20 newton meters, 180 inch pounds, however you want to, whatever you have. Then uh, we're going to go through and just replace, plug everything back in. Um, you know, plug all of our plugs, everything that we took off, put our fuel rail back on. Fuel rail, all you have to do is take your fuel injectors, lay it right back over to where it was, and just give it a little push down, and it'll seat down right into the intake manifold. There is one more thing you have to swap over from your new intake to your old intake, and that is your MAP sensor. Just take this torque spit out, take it out, put it right in the new one, plug it in. As you can see, we're all put back together, except for the coil cover and all that, but once you get to this point, everything's connected. Everything else, start it up. Make sure you have no leaks. Make sure you're not getting any codes. You don't have vacuum leaks somewhere. You don't have fuel coming out. You didn't tighten the injector rails, you know, etc. Just go over it. Make sure everything's okay. And hopefully your problem's fixed. So I know this was a uh, kind of a quick down and dirty video. I'll try to do better in the future about you know keeping uh camera stuff here and even remembering to do it i forget to do it and then i get halfway through a project because honestly it does slow us down but uh when we're slow and it's a common problem i try and do it that way you guys can try to save some money or you know more along the lines of common problems i'll try to make more videos about but that's it guys it's it's fairly simple uh you you know if if you don't have tools or aren't real mechanically inclined then you know at, at least you can have an idea of what the mechanic and everything's going to do or if you want to tackle it yourself then it's really not a hard project and and it's it's super common there's a lot of other videos everything else um try to uh like the video subscribe um we work out of, uh, my shop's called Patriot Performance and Automotive. We're out in Northeast North Carolina. Um, uh, my in-house fabricator is uh, Yax Welding. He also has a YouTube channel where he does some welding uh, content and some of our racing stuff and everything else. Um, we do a little bit of everything here. Um, we build motorcycles. You know, uh, that's all stuff. I got a powder coat. We got... Big powder coat and ovens. Um, build race cars, roll cages, you know, everything you can think of. Brian is a good fabricator. That's he. he's also on uh, Facebook and Instagram. He also has a YouTube channel that you can go check out. He actually posts more than I do. He's a little bit better about it. So, uh, but try to subscribe. I'll try to try to keep doing these like this. Like I said, it's. You know, I, I, I'm bad about it, but uh, we're trying to get a little bit better. And uh, try to subscribe to us, help us out. Uh, go on Facebook, Instagram, we're all over those, all that kind of fun stuff. That's usually where we post like our cars and stuff that we do. So, But thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it.